Hey, what's up guys? It's Nash and welcome to another episode of Stardew Valley 1.6 update. Oh, we're back. We're back with another video and you guys already know I love Stardew and you guys are loving Stardew here on my channel. I want to say thank you for all the support on this series. It is doing so 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 well and i can't believe how just like incredible the first video went so thank you guys so much for watching and sharing this series it means a lot but it is a rainy day today you guys we are going to check the tv it's going to be beautiful and sunny today and it looks like what is my cat doing is she shivering in fear <laughs> what is going on the spirits are somewhat annoyed today luck will not be on your side oh that's not good although we are going to use we're gonna take advantage of the weather today and my kale has grown oh yes also my tulips so community center day guys like I said, we're going to be taking advantage of this rain and we are going to be doing some community center stuff. So, dear Farmer Nash, I'd like to apologize for joking about your grandpa's old cottage when we first met. It's really a, a nice little house. However, you might need some more space someday. That's where I can help. If you bring me some raw materials and pay a fee, I can expand your house. The first expansion I offer includes a kitchen. Exciting, we can start cooking things. With the kitchen, you'll be able to cook any recipe you've learned. Anyways, I hope you started to feel at home in Stardew Valley. I almost said just Stardew, that was <laughs> weird. In Stardew Valley, your local carpenter, Robin. I've been struggling with my words the last few days. I don't know what's going on. Also, I do know that I need fish bait for my crab pots, so they are just kind of sitting there, but it's better they just sit there and have a spot designated to them than just chilling in my inventory uh misty is doing good i'm trying to grab that egg but yeah my inventory is full so i guess that kind of makes sense i guess we'll just pet my chickens and then i will come back and do that hopefully before the end of the day we need to get an earth crystal so we can get the mayonnaise machines but like i was saying guys we have some busy work to do i do want to keep some of these tulips uh, but we need to donate one to the community center and then I also need to donate kale to the community center And that is a bundle complete you guys Let's go do it. I'm excited to start this episode off with a pretty big exciting Accomplishment zipping on over to the pantry because I think this is where our Bundle is gonna be. I can't remember if we unlock the vault, but look at that spring crops bundle is finished beautiful ah we unlocked a new room too we only have two more well technically two more um little packs because we have the bulletin board and the vault so let's see which one we unlock i think hopefully it's the bulletin board but it might be the vault it was the bulletin board nice okay so you i couldn't remember what order you unlock the rooms in technically the the bulletin board is like a hallway so it doesn't really i guess count as a room maybe it does i don't know but the vault is going to be last so i am excited to see forger's bundle oh my word i don't think i got 50 salmon berries guys oh this one's gonna be tricky okay 10 hay, that one's easy. 3 apples, 10 wheat, that's relatively easy. Chef's bundle, this one always gets me because the truffle and the fried egg and the mocky roll. Ah, oh, these are hard. Okay, 10 eggs of any kind, that's, that's cool. I can do that, so I should be saving my eggs. Good thing I've been saving my eggs. Milk of any kind, wheat flour, okay. And then purple mushroom, nautilus shell, chub, frozen geode okay so we need to catch another chub that's fine we need to go put the tulip in the bundle really quickly that seems like a lot a lot of work but we'll get there it'll be fine okay so where was this flower bundle was it in here no i do have a cave carrot though that i can bring for this kind of forgot about that and then we need to get tappers so we can get resin That'll be good for us. So it must be up here where the flowers go. Yes. Garden bundle. Here it is. All right. Let's put the tulip in and then we just need three more of these. We already have the blue jazz on the way. So we're doing pretty good when it comes to that. But what I want to work on next is some of the rainy day fish that 
you can only catch on rainy days during spring. So we're going to head down to the river and we're going to try to catch, I think it's a shad and a catfish. Ooh, we also have, oh, tomorrow's Pam's birthday. Okay, I need to remember that. We also have this one here, two chubs. I need to catch chubs anyway, so maybe we can do that today. Uh, should I go dump off my inventory? Yes, I think I should. We're going to be catching a lot of fish, I think. And I also would love to get the backpack today, you guys. That would be such a fantastic goal, but I'm not sure if it's going to happen. We'll see. Okay, I am going to sell one of my tulips. I believe this probably is something that we need to ship, I would assume. And then I'm going to keep all the rest of this on me just in case I decide to go mining if we catch all of our fish relatively quickly. So I feel like I have enough bars open in my um, in my hot bar down there to to get us through what we need uh oh, i thought about grabbing that leak but we have full energy so i think we'll be okay we need to catch the elusive catfish today which can be a little bit tricky uh oh it's still salmonberry season i thought i wasn't seeing any salmonberry bushes so i just kind of assumed i was like oh it's over i guess not maybe later tonight i can make a round to do some salmon berries but this is my fishing spot over at the river i am gonna spend some time here trying to catch catfish and a shad and i will see you guys in a second we also might move to this bubble spot here in a second i didn't even see that because of the rain it kind of like leaves ripples and they all look the same but let's do a little fishing there it is we caught the shad that was our first catch so now we just have to wait it out for a catfish and also I'm planning at 4 p.m. to go down to the beach and try to see if we can catch an eel because that's another rainy day fish that we need to catch too. Here it is. We got a catfish. We got a catfish. We got a catfish. No, we lost it. They are notoriously very difficult to catch and because they're, they just go crazy on the bar. We'll get it. We'll get it. We'll have another chance. Just got to really be on top of it. After you play Stardew Valley quite a lot, you start to like recognize the patterns of certain fish and that's how I can tell whether it's like a, a chill fish, like a shad or a smallmouth bass versus a catfish or something that's a little bit harder, more hard to catch. Uh, so yeah, it's you definitely start to pick it up the more and more you play the game. Uh, what is this, this one? is not a not a catfish i don't think but i will say i have gotten tricked a time or two where it didn't seem like it was a catfish and it was super chill and then it ended up being a catfish um catfish right here mm, oh my god no he goes crazy it's so difficult and if you guys are ever curious if a fish is kind of easier to catch or harder to catch their speeds and their uh patterns are listed on the wiki the wiki is something i use all the time the stardew valley wiki page it is so helpful it has all the information you could ever need about stardew valley and if you are needing help with something specific i highly recommend checking it out here's another one okay 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 oh god i feel like i can't even blink when there's a catfish don't do that ah come on nash you got this you got this you got this come on this one's so tricky Okay, I, th I think we get it. We're gonna get it. This catfish, yes! Yes! We did it! Oh my gosh, we did it! And in the nick of time, too, it is 4 p.m. We can head down to the beach to go get my eel. Oh my gosh, it's so much harder than it seems, guys. Like, keeping that bar in place. My goodness. But we did it. Oh, that feels so awesome. All right, time to catch an eel. Let's see what we got. So the eel pattern is one that I'm not quite sure about. I don't think I've caught enough of these to really know. And the reason why I know the catfish one and like the carp one and stuff is because you catch a lot of those. Whereas I feel like I don't really fish at the beach very often. So I'm not as familiar with the catch styles and speeds of these fish here. Uh, so I'm just, <laughs> I'm just hoping to catch one soon, but we'll see. This might be the eel has a little bit of a different pattern going on. It's a little bit more sporadic. So that would be really cool. It is, yes, okay, cool. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes they're very, they're very different. All right, let's get rid of this herring. So we officially caught all of the fish that I was hoping to catch today. There might be one that I am missing, but I'll double check with my spreadsheet and um, we'll try to make sure we stay on top of things. And yes, I am a spreadsheet connoisseur. <laughs> 
I love me some Excel. Actually, I kind of prefer Google Sheets over Excel. Oh, yeah, uh, sorry. But <laughs> sorry to all the Excel fans out there. But yeah, I uh, have a whole spreadsheet for Stardew Valley and the bundles and like how I'm kind of tackling all this. So it's been fun. But anyways, we caught the catfish. We caught the, the shad. We just need the tiger trout. Then if we go into the nightfish bundle, that's where we could put the eel. So we just need one on both of those. Uh, we can't get those currently though with the season that we're in. So we're going to have to wait those ones out until the next few seasons come up. But we're making a lot of progress and that makes me feel really good. So with the rest of the fish, I am just going to sell them. I think I was going to wait until... We hit level five. I've talked about this in a previous episode, but I think it's more beneficial for us to get the backpack right now. And then, yeah, we'll just, we'll just sell it. It'll be good. I'm still so sad about the strawberry incident and not saving up for strawberries. Learn from my mistakes, guys. Save up for your strawberries ahead of time. Another thing I want to do uh, before we end this day off is collect some forageables and try to go get some more salmon berries since we need 50 for the community center. If I could get 50, that would be absolutely amazing. Uh, the chances of that are, are slim, but I mean, hey, it's it'll be good if we can try to do it. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try my best. So I have a little bit of time. I'm just gonna make some rounds and sell my fish. So obviously because Willie's closed, we are just going to sell all of those into the bin beautiful and then what we're gonna do is i'm just gonna pop down to the south of the farm because that's where a lot of salmonberry bushes are and i'm hoping that we can get uh just a bit more this is what i'm talking about three salmonberry bushes right here beautiful i know it's so dark and it's hard for you guys to see i apologize but I'll, I'll try to use my commentary to tell you guys four salmon bushes salmonberry bushes not salmon bushes <laughs> salmon bushes Okay, and then let's see here. We got another one. Whoa, I didn't know you could hit salmon berries off the bush with your... That's kind of awesome. Hold on, let me try that again. Yeah, you can. That's so cool. I never... Wow, I learned something new about Stardew Valley today. I learn things all the time, but still, that's like... Actually, I don't know, kind of way more efficient than just hitting it. Uh, it is becoming super late though, so I'm just gonna get the last couple I see in my vision and then get out of here. Okay, we have 16. That's pretty good. I wonder how many we have in the chest. Okay, let's check the chest really quickly. Let's put those leaks away. We have 52! We have enough for the bundle! Oh, that is very exciting. Oh my gosh, hold on. I think we could also do this hay one. Oh my word. Let's put two up there. I really just wanted to make a lot of progress on the community center today, so... This is working out fantastically. Let me go ahead and grab out. There's some pieces there and then we'll put our eggs away. Do we have 10 eggs that I can give? I have seven of those, five of those. I think we can mix those so we have the egg one as well. All right, let's go to sleep. It is, I'm like stressing myself out with needing to go to bed. All right, let's move on to tomorrow. See if anything exciting happenings happens wasn't tomorrow pam's birthday i need to figure out what pam likes okay 466 is that enough to get us the backpack drum roll please <laughs> no oh my god 1998 you're kidding we could sell an egg and get it that's fine all right let's check the weather report it's gonna be beautiful and sunny day tomorrow Fortune teller says that the spirits are very displeased. That's never nice. Refreshing rain, a farmer's best friend. When it rains, you don't have to water your crops. Use this to your advantage. We already have been doing that 100%. You can get a lot more done. My blue jazzes are done too. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Everything is coming out good, guys, because we are actually getting like money and things there's more salmon berries too uh i need to go water my crops pet my cat pet my chickens do all of my uh everyday things also the silo is built guys we officially built a silo in the previous episode and it is very nice to have one i don't have to worry about if my chickens are gonna be 
able to be fed or not. So that has been great. Let's let the chickies out. Are they going to come on out? They must be wanting to stay inside today. Oh, they're still kind of sleeping. All right, hopefully you guys are uh, happy and good. I'll come back for their eggs later. <laughs> Today we are going to remedy the clogged inventory problem. I'll be able to pretty much hold all of my tools on me at all times, which to be honest with you guys is something that I personally enjoy. Like I like having all my tools just in case I ever need them. So getting that backpack upgrade is so nice. We'll come back for all the salmon berries too, but I just kind of want to go get some things done first um yeah and then we i think we need to sort out pam's birthday too i feel like i've been taking a lot of quests on the bulletin board and haven't been actually doing them because i've been so busy doing other things so today is pam's birthday okay um i oh my god 600 gold for a catfish i don't know if it's actually gonna rain within the next couple of days though so i'm not sure that we're gonna do that one but first things first community center most important morning task of the day actually probably taking care of my pets and feeding my chickens is the most important thing that's definitely for sure but second most important all right going into the fodders bundle let's tick off the 10 hay there we need to do the salmon berries for the foraging bundle that makes my life so much easier i am not going to be scrambling at the end of the season trying to get this done that makes me very happy. And then we need to, oh, the eggs were in this one as well, I believe. Was that the chef's bundle? No, no. We need to get an apple tree though. Here it is. So I think we could do that and then that. Yeah, and that makes 10, beautiful. 10 milk and wheat flour. So we're gonna need to get, I, I think we can buy wheat flour from Pierre's, but I think I'd rather do it within the game and try to get it through the mill. Because to be honest with you guys, I've never even had a mill on one of my farms. So it'd be cool to have one. And there is the garden bundle. We're cruising along. I am feeling so good about our progress. And I heavily would like to thank my spreadsheet because <laughs> it's so helpful. Ooh, Pam. Our girl Pam loves parsnips. So let's go get her a parsnip or two all right i'm excited and let's go get our backpack guys it is backpack day oh the inventory space just thinking about how incredible it's gonna be to hold so many things i am excited oh we're getting a cutscene. what is going on here looks like some some stuff's happening pierre's welcome to pierre's how can i help you Actually, I would like a backpack upgrade, but uh, seems like I'm being interrupted. So that's not very nice. <laughs> Joey's like, I don't care what's going on. Come and get it, folks. Coupons for 50% off your purchase at Jojo Mart. 50%? Oh gosh, look at him with his tickets flailing around. Well, any takers? No, guys. Pierre's is so cute and quaint, and there's a heart on the wall. Like, this is the heart of the town. <sighs> you guys but i can't match those prices i'd be selling at a loss it must be so difficult for you to lose your loyal customers like that but can you blame them jojo corporation is clearly the superior choice soon the whole town will realize that mm -mm -mm. absolutely awful he looks ah he just looks mean he just has a mean look about him i'm so sorry pierre i will give you um i'm actually gonna be taking some money for some money from you uh, sorry about that i'm gonna sell some stuff to you but i'm gonna give you two thousand gold to make up for everyone that just left today so I'm, I'm very sorry about that um but we got a large pack your inventory space has increased to 24 heck yes you guys we now have the second bar unlocked which means i can now just hold everything all of my tools, I don't have to worry about it. Oh, it's a beautiful thing and I am so happy and excited about it. Okay, so next thing we need to do, I'm trying to think, there's a lot of things we could do. I mean, Stardew Valley is jam packed with like a million, <laughs> million things to do. But what do we wanna do is the question. What do we wanna do? Pam's birthday. That's what we want to do. <laughs> I literally had to uh, pull up my inventory screen and pause because I was like, what are we doing? 
Pam's birthday. All right, so on the wiki, it says that Pam loves herself some parsnips. I've never had a parsnip in my, li in my life, I don't think. Pretty sure I have never have. Uh, so it'd be interesting to try sometime, but Pam likes them apparently, and I should have some back at the farm. I don't think I've sold everything. This is another reason, guys, why I tend to like kind of hoard things because you never know who's gonna love a parsnip. You know what I'm saying? I have 12 parsnips. Should I give her the star quality one? We have, oh, I need to go to the museum too. We had this predicament in the last episode or in a previous episode where I was like, does the quality matter when gifting? I haven't read your comments yet. <laughs> so I'm, I'm still not sure because I have kind of been recording these episodes in bulk i've just been wanting to play honestly i'm i feel excited to play stardew valley and so i just kind of get on and and record and i do check your guys's comments but sometimes i record like two videos in a row so i don't get to necessarily see your comments because they the previous video hasn't been posted yet so yeah there's a lot to that but um yeah i i guess let me know in this in this video too unless you already left a comment but why am I going here? I don't need to go in here. I need to go into Pam's trailer and see if possibly she's in here. Is Pam, hello? No, I don't think she's in here. Okay, then she's probably a Jojo Mart. She likes to shop there, so let's give it a check. Ah, there she is. Told you guys, she's always going on over to Jojo Mart. We're gonna follow her in the store and be like, hey, you want a free parsnip for your birthday? Happy birthday. Oh, is it my birthday? I guess it is. Thanks, this is nice. Wait, is that her love? Is the wiki? Is the wiki misleading me again? Oh, okay. Yeah, I think uh, for loved, loved gifts, she does say that. So that's good. Let's go talk to everybody in here. Blah, I had one too many caramel porters at the saloon last night. Go away. Okay, I won't bother you. Very grumpy Pam this morning on her birthday. But makes sense. She was pretty gaming for her birthday. Uh, Shane's hard at work. He doesn't seem interested in talking. And it looks like Sam's not here, so... Just kind of move along, Morris. We're not even gonna act like you're there. <laughs> That's brutal. Oh man, I shouldn't do that. That's mean. Anyways, let's go and head on down to the museum. Turn in this artifact. So in between episodes as well, guys, I did play a day where I just was, was fishing. That's literally all I did. I thought it was insanely boring, but I did get a treasure chest that had this like elvish jewelry in it. And I wanted to turn that in with you guys. So I wanted to tell you where I got that from. It was from a treasure chest when I was fishing and it was a rainy day yesterday. And so I wanted to, or no, it wasn't rainy. It was just a fishing day. So yeah, I just wanted to like, there will be times where I might play for a day without you guys in game. It'll usually just be super mundane things like going to the mines or fishing all day. It's not going to be any big game related things. Um, and that's just because sometimes I just want to play Stardew Valley and like I love recording it but sometimes I just want to play and I don't want to start a separate farm because I've done that in the past and I feel like I get very almost confused with what's happening either in my let's play versus my um, like my personal save file and then I'm like what have I done and then it all starts to blur together and then I get confused and then I I end up playing way too much of one and not enough of the other so I there's there's gonna be days where I just play okay just so you guys know and I think that that's healthy and that that's something that I'm okay with and I hope you guys are okay with too just for my own like mental sake of of being able to play a game that I really want to play and and just playing it so yeah uh, whenever I feel like it and recording whenever I feel like it but the bulk of this series, I will say too, like I want to show you guys. So again, those uh, those days are just going to be when I'm doing the really mundane things like fishing all day and you guys just don't. It's not fun to just watch me in the cave all day or fishing all day. <laughs> it's really not. So whenever there's fun and exciting things that happen, of course, I want to show you guys. But when there's not, there's just not. Oh my gosh, was that <laughs> little chicken sound? What was that? All right, gonna get these carrots planted, pick up my blue jazz here. 
beautiful. Should I sell these or should I keep these? I guess once they're plucked, uh, they might be good for gifting though. Again, I'm like, ah, do I hang on to these things? I'm gonna sell them because I feel like we need the money more than anything at this point in the game. And then what we're gonna do is we need to get a copper bar for the community center. That could be something we work on. And I do have the exact amount of copper. I should probably think about heading back into the mines because we're a little bit scarce on some of this stuff. We also need to turn a cave carrot into the community center. So that would be good for us to do. Do not eat it. <laughs> Don't eat it. I would like to sell this large mouth bass as well. Let me put the green algae away. 200 fiber for the community center. Uh, so we're quite a ways off of that. I'm trying to uh, mayonnaise machines. What do we need for these again? Earth crystals, that's right, and more copper. So yeah, mining, uh, beehive is iron. Oh, wow, okay. So getting down in the mines is gonna be important for us. Yeah, because we need quite a few things for that. Okay, all right, Earth. prioritizing earth crystals, copper, but iron I think is at like level 40. So that is deep in the mines. So it's getting a little bit late in the day. I might just spend the rest of this day fishing. Quickly, we could take this copper bar over. I'm trying to see, oh, we have some quartz we can donate as well. Is there anything else we would want to give? I don't think we need any of these things. Anything in here that we need to donate? Oh, I didn't, I didn't plant my spring seeds. Although I have a different use for those later on in the game. So potentially gonna you're gonna hang on to those all right and then for the speed grow i'll probably use that next season on my blueberries blueberries are a great money maker so i think i'm gonna save those let's head over to the community center and drop off just a couple more things okay gemologist bundle quartz is in and then we need the blacksmith bundle the copper is in and then i believe the cave carrot was over oh gosh this is testing my memory was it on the bulletin board or was it i think it was over here in the exotic bundle potentially <laughs> not forest oh do i have maple seeds i wonder if i have 10 of those i didn't even didn't even remember that was a thing exotic foraging that's where it is beautiful okay and then mushrooms have got to be a thing that happens too so another thing we should focus on is gifting villagers. I really haven't been doing too much of that. Getting those friendships up would be nice because then we can get more cutscenes and we can unlock some more things. I think once you become friends with the villagers, they'll like start sending you things in the mail. Uh, a chub, we could do this, two chubs. Where do I catch two chubs at? Though it is the final day, it's super late. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do that. So, okay, I guess that's fine. Anybody's birthday tomorrow? No, but Shane's birthday is the day after that. That'll be fun to do. Well, I guess I am going to spend the rest of the evening just fishing. I know it's not the most exciting thing ever, but it'll just kill us some time. Ooh, Sam, the clouds look great this time of year, don't they? They do. I mean, I wish I could see them. I guess I, I can't really see the clouds in this game. <laughs> I'm envisioning them, what they would look like. Uh, like scoops of vanilla ice cream floating on the blue raspberry sauce, or maybe I'm just hungry. Okay, you're making me hungry. That sounds fantastic. What the heck? That was also very poetic. I mean, he is a musician, right? <laughs> so I'll do fishing until maybe like 10 and then head back up to the farm. You've got some new ideas to sleep on. I leveled up fishing again. Oh, I'm excited. I think, I think that's going to be level four fishing for us. And that's one stop closer to level five. So I am so proud of that. That's going to be amazing. I'm just going to keep going. Like I said, I'm going to stay out here until about 10. And this is going to just keep making us money. I'm kind of wondering, since we're one level away, maybe I should hoard these fish. Um, because then we'll sell them for, I believe it's 25% more. So maybe this is the time to start kind of hoarding fish. Is when you're one level before leveling up. I think that might be a good idea. All right, gonna turn it in for the night. Let's head back up to the farm. Caught quite a bit. And again, just gonna kind of put these in the fish chest. That chest probably smells so bad now that I'm thinking about it. Just shoving a bunch of fish in a chest. Hopefully it's, uh, it's more like a cooler. <laughs> we could just pretend it's like a cooler. <laughs> All right, time to go in, head to bed and move on to tomorrow. 
there it is deluxe bait that is new that is new the worm bin and the recycling machine yep so we hit level four fishing pretty stoked about that and it looks like we are getting an extra 300 dollars. i'll take it all right we are gonna do one last quick day here in the valley i'm hoping that we have a good luck day because today is going to be all about mining it's going to be beautiful and sunny spirits are somewhat mildly perturbed that's not what we like to see i'm gonna head down to the traveling carts and see what's down there first but ah look at this We're, we got our friendship up with pam enough to get our first cooking recipe so cheese cauliflower that sounds really good hey kid here's the recipe for for a little tree my pappy used to make cook it slow pam thank you i love that farmer nash i have a request for you i need a fresh cauliflower for a recipe i want to make it could you bring me one jody absolutely we can do that today some things on the docket things on the docket let's go take care of all of our animals take care of all of our crops We'll take care of Jody, and then we will head into the mines. Okay, we do have a cauliflower we can give, so that is perfect. Is there anything else I'm going to need? I'm going to need some leeks for the mines, or potentially... Oh, you know what? Actually, let's bring some carrots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't have a whole lot of money for the traveling cart. Sorry of my life, but that's fine. Uh, we don't even know if the traveling cart will have anything we need, but if it does, I am happy about it. Okay, refined quartz, we do need that, but I can always make that pretty easily. Parsnip soup, shad, a beer. That would have been nice yesterday for Pam's birthday because she loves beer. Mayonnaise, we have plenty of that where it comes from. Blueberry, we'll get those next season. Snow yam, we'll get those in uh when when in winter sunflower seeds we, we can buy those nothing nothing good all right so i think jody should be in her house hopefully fingers crossed oh sam's still in bed yep same old same 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 for me too uh oh that looks so delicious thank you this is just what i wanted it's going to be perfect for my yellow curry can you teach me how to make that that would be fantastic 350 gold yes we are making so much money so this is the point in time where we're about halfway through the season and what we need to do is it would be good for us to start trying to save up for blueberry season which is next season blueberries are going to be a huge a uh, huge thing for us going into next season to make money and we're gonna need a lot of money we want to buy cows and animals and all kinds of things like that so yeah that's something i'm definitely thinking about probably gonna try not to spend as much as of my money as possible as much of my money as possible here good star have a daffodil <laughs> i always give linus my random junk in my inventory because i know he's gonna like it <laughs> does anyone else do that all right down into the mines we go if we could get down five levels that would be fantastic let's do a bit of a montage earth crystal yay that is what we need for the mayonnaise machine i also just realized this is our uh, first time <laughs> this is our first time going uh mining with our new backpack upgrade i love it Oh, what is happening? Green smoke. This is freaking awful. I hate these bugs so much. Is there a staircase anywhere around here? I'm getting attacked. I was getting attacked by three at once. Now it's two. Now it's one. Now it's two again. Oh gosh. Now it's two again. <laughs> and the smoke is gone. Beautiful. Now don't come back. I don't need more of that. Yay, we got down five levels. I love to see it. Okay, just uh, gonna keep collecting. We have plenty of time in the day, so just gonna keep going down. If we can get five more, that would be amazing. Another green smoke. Oh, you're joking. Get me out. Whenever I can, I just leave. I'm like, I'm not messing with this. We made it down to level 20. Yay. And we got a glow ring. Oh, you're joking. Oh, that's incredible. Oh, that's the best luck we could have ever had. Now you guys will be able to see what I'm doing at nighttime. Oh. <laughs> I'm so excited about having a glow ring. We can also fish here. There's a few, uh, maybe not a few fish, but 
there are fish we can catch there anyways i don't know oh, we have a glow ring let's go outside look at that look how much brighter it is you guys can see that nice bright light around me now you can finally see what i'm doing at nighttime that is incredible and it's such a big radius too it takes up almost all my screen so very nice i'm ah oh, that just made my whole day i'm so glad that you guys can finally see what i'm doing at nighttime during the videos yes but you guys that is where we are gonna call it uh we got our earth crystal that's nice we're probably actually gonna end up donating that one not to gunther <laughs> but to the community center i also got some rice shoots Hmm, that could be good for us. Okay, let's do geode stone. I'm just gonna put the earth crystal in there for now, and then I do plan to smelt my copper up. Uh, let's actually just get like one one roll in here, and then I think aside from that, we are good to go and good to move on to next episode. Those carrots were really handy for the mines, so definitely suggest those if you guys are planning on going into the mines. All right, that is gonna have to do it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to head down below, subscribe. We are trying to hit 100,000 subscribers by the end of 2024. So if you guys could help me out with that, that would be in incredible, that'd be amazing. Um, but thank you for your continued support. I do greatly appreciate it on this series. And I will talk to you very, very soon for the next episode. Have a very beautiful, wonderful day. Bye, guys.